I'm not that good a poker player, and I didn't really play poker before we started to do this, but I've been watching these artificial intelligence for 14 years, so I learned a thing or two. I know some things that some of the pros don't. I'm Tuomas Sandholm. I'm a professor here at Carnegie Mellon University. I've been working on artificial intelligence since 1989. Poker is a great benchmark because it is a huge game. It has 10 to the power of 161 different situations. That's more than the number of atoms in the universe. And even if you had for every atom in the universe a whole other universe and calculated those atoms, it would still be more than that too. So really to do serious research in the area, you do need to use a supercomputer. I'm Nick Nystrom. I'm the director of research at the Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center. One of our recent initiatives with Professor Tuma Sandholm is to really set a system where he can test and demonstrate an artificial intelligence he's been developing for competing against the world's top human poker players. And we designed a custom topology just to make this kind of AI possible. The reason that we chose Hewlett Packard Enterprise was really their depth. We were trying to build a system that would let people do things they've never done before. And those problems require very large shared memory. In Bridges, we have HP Integrity Superdome X servers with 12 terabytes of random access memory each. We also have 800 Apollo 2000 servers and HPE DL580 three terabyte servers. And so bringing all of those different components together was essential to Bridges. The algorithms that run on the supercomputer come up with their own strategy for playing the game. They don't take any data as original input. They just compute from the rules of the game and figure out their own strategies. In January, we ran this Brains versus AI competition, where we brought in four of the top 10 Heads up, no limit, Texas Hold'em, professional players. Initially, the players were doing quite well. We're like, we figured this out. It has these holes. We're going to take it on. And then it improved. In a few days, Labradas learned what they were doing. It closed those holes. It limps. It min raises. It raises it to 2.5. Most people, when they play, they only raise. Some people like limp and raise. To do this much pre-flop variation, it's not something that any human would be able to do. As the players found more holes, Labratus identified those. Just in Labratus fashion, he two, hits two pair on the river. We beat them by 14.7 big blinds per 100. That was the first time AI had been able to beat top human players. And that's really exciting because the test of artificial intelligence is when can it surpass humans? In theory, there is a way to beat it, but we just don't know how.